welcome viewers in this video we will see the magnetic field intensity due to the finite conductor the expression for magnetic field intensity due to the finite conductor so our aim is to find the magnetic field intensity to a finite conductor current carrying conductor at point p the point p is at a distance d meter from the origin right now we will refer the diagram so that it will be easier So this AB is nothing but a finite conductor in which the current is flowing. When the current is flowing through the conductor AB, what will happen? The magnetic field is produced in the form of concentric circles, right? AB is the state conductor in which the steady current is flowing due to that the magnetic field is produced in the form of concentric circles. Our aim is to find the magnetic field intensity at this point P, which is at a distance d meter from the origin, or it may be center. Magnetic field intensity at point P, which is at a distance d meter from the origin. This fine conductor is assumed to be having so many current elements. Current element means ideal. Now we consider one current element IDX at this point there are n number of current elements available in which we are considering one current element idx at a distance x meter from the origin so this angle will be theta there are n number of current element in that we consider one current element idx at a distance x meter further we can go for integration so the angle between this point p and a is alpha and point P and B is beta. So A, B is equivalent to in the angle of alpha and beta. The length AB, the equivalent angle will be alpha and beta. So for during the calculation, we need this triangle. So this triangle is drawn separately. This distance is D, X and R. This will be angle theta. Now we will see the description. A state conduct current carrying conductor AB assumed to be formed by several segments. Such a segment is called current element. Right? There are n number of segments available. That segment is nothing but current element. In that we consider one current element IDX at a distance x meter from the origin. We consider one current element. The distance between this current element and point P is R meter. So the DH is the magnetic field intensity at point P due to the current element IDX. The H is the magnetic field intensity. DH means magnetic field intensity due to only one small current element IDX. So by integration we will get the total magnetic field intensity. Right? So the DH is the magnetic field intensity due to current element IDX. Now we start with Bayer's Howard's law in order to find the magnetic field intensity expression we start from Bayer's Howard's law dh vector equal to ideal vector cross r vector divided by 4 pi r cube that is the expression given by Bayer's Howard's law in the vector form ideal vector cross r vector divided by 4 pi r cube here we are using idx at a distance x meter we consider one current element so that idx into r vector divided by 4 pi r cube what is a vector cross b vector a vector cross b vector equal to a b sin theta so that ideal vector cross r vector equal to idx idx into r vector equal to idx into r into sin theta right so, so a vector cross b vector is written as a b sin theta so here one r is there, here r cube is there, so it become one r got cancelled. So that dh equal to, now this vector, this a vector cross b vector is written in a b sin theta in a scalar form. So now it becomes scalar. i dx sin theta divided by 4 pi r square. So after simplification, what we got? i dx sin theta divided by 4 pi r square. 
now we have one triangle from that we are going to find the expression for dx and r from the triangle we are going to find the expression for dx and r right so this take this is equation number one so this triangle is available this triangle i drawn again d this distance is dx and r we'll find the sign we'll find the value of sin tan theta tan theta equal to we our aim is to find the value of x and r so that first we'll find tan theta tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side opposite side is d adjacent side is x so d by x tan theta equal to d divided by x right so interchange these two values x equal to d by tan theta because what we need is x so bring this x in the left hand side tan theta in the denominator so x equal to d by tan theta 1 divided by tan theta is cot theta right so x equal to d cot theta but what we need is dx so we need to differentiate on both the side so dx equal to differentiation of d cot theta so dx equal to minus d so the differentiation of cot theta is cosecant square theta into d theta so that we got minus right differentiation of cot theta is minus cosecant square theta d theta so dx equal to minus d cosecant square theta d theta now find the expression for sin theta sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse d divided by r again cross multiply these two Right. So, R equal to D by sin theta. So, R equal to D into cosecant theta. Now, we got the expression for dx and R. We are going to substitute this dx and R in equation number 1. What is equation number 1? I dx sin theta divided by 4 pi R square. In this, we are going to substitute this dx. dx equal to minus. So, I into dx is minus d cosecant square theta into d theta into sin theta is there divided by 4 pi r square what is r d cosecant theta so d square cosecant square theta dx and r values are substituted right here one d is available here d square is available so one d got cancelled cosecant square theta available in numerator as well as denominator that got cancelled now we'll see what is the simplified expression so after simplification what we have minus i by 4 pi d sin theta d theta minus i by 4 pi d sin theta into d theta so this magnetic field intensity due to only one current element small current element by integrating on both the side we'll get the total magnetic field intensity so the magnetic field intensity due to entire conductor can be obtained by integration then what is the limit for this integration current element has to move from b to a right from b the, from point p b to point a so the corresponding point b we have the angle b, beta for the corresponding the point a we have angle alpha so that beta to alpha because integral is with respect to theta if it is length we can use this but with respect to theta so we are using the angles beta to alpha right so the limits are from beta to alpha now we'll substitute now we integrate on both the side so integral dh equal to integral beta to alpha minus i divided by 4 pi d into sin theta d theta minus i divided by 4 pi d is constant it taken outside only we have sin theta integral sin theta is minus cos theta you substitute the limit beta to alpha so that minus i divided by 4 pi d into minus cos alpha while substituting lower limit one minus will be there already one minus is there so it become plus cos beta minus cos alpha plus cos beta right here one negative symbol available so you multiply inside so what will happen i divided by 4 pi d this minus become plus cos alpha this plus become minus cos alpha minus cos beta 
so the magnetic field intensity due to finite conductor the final expression is h equal to i divided by 4 pi d cos alpha minus cos beta in this one special condition is available suppose if the length is infinite what we are assuming is finite conductor we are assuming as finite conductor a b the length is finite suppose if it is infinite what will happen the alpha is tends to zero while going when when the length is increases the alpha the angle alpha is approaching to zero and beta is approaching to 180 degree right so here cos alpha cos alpha equal to cos zero alpha is zero so cos zero means one then cos beta is there cos beta is equal to cos 180 degree beta is 180 degree cos 180 is minus one so cos alpha is one cos beta is minus one we can substitute here h equal to i divided by 4 pi d cos alpha 1 minus minus 1 already one minus is there so it become plus 1 plus 1 2 so it become 2 already here 4 is there while cancelling it become 2 i divided by 2 pi d right if the length is infinite the magnetic field intensity after substituting this value alpha approaching to 0 beta approaching to 180 what we got i divided by 2 pi d so in this video we discuss the magnetic field intensity due to finite conductor we got the expression for that and we have one special condition when the if the conduct if the length is infinite what is the expression for magnetic field intensity thank you